and welcome back to my little piece of the internet. So 2020 was a crazy journey. It had its highs, it had its lows. I'm just glad I survived, frankly. I've got so many things stacked against me, health-wise, that it could have all gone drastically wrong. And I'm not. I've managed to stay safe and stay financially stable-ish. <laughs> So I'm super thankful for everyone who's helped me get through this year and I can't wait to see what the next year brings. So 2020 was mad. I never expected anything from it. I really was kind of doubtful if I could even stick to my own plan. It was I didn't even post it online, it was just a personal one that I was going to take the risk, jump in the deep end and start drawing again, start believing in myself again. There was years and years I was so invested in my art and then there was years and years where I kind of completely pushed it aside and was like, this is never going to work, it's never going to be good enough. You're always going to be a second rate artist, but and things, it's different now. I don't care if I'm a second rate artist, I don't care if I'm seen as an amateur, I don't care if everyone thinks that this is a stupid little vlog to do, but I'm doing it for me, I'm doing it to boost my own self confidence and if this all blows up and I get at least some average amounts of sales each month and some second rate income from a Patreon with the amazing support of people who believe in me then that is enough for me. I just want to draw <laughs> in a little money on the side from my cute little drawings and hopefully build an amazing community that believes in me and I can believe in them and help them grow through you know me or my pages so 2021 I don't know if I want to set exact goals like my goals would be to carry on believing myself keep posting regularly keep buying small stickers or prints from other small artists and promote them build my own little collection that way um, it'd be awesome to earn a thousand pounds through my own art that seems absolutely ridiculous for me to say but if I earn a thousand pounds I can register my little art gimmick to being a professional side earning business start up thing so that would be amazing yeah let's go for it who knows right <laughs> So what else do I want to do this year? Uh, last year I would have said I want to travel and I want to go see people and hang out with some of my old friends I haven't seen in forever. But that's just physically not going to be possible, let's face it. This is going to go on and be very dramatic for another year or so before things truly sell down. Especially here in England. I, don't, I know there's some parts of the world that like are getting back to normality. But all I see is absolute <laughs> sheer chaos. On the streets around me all over the news how people are behaving all over my social media like for someone who's going to be physically affected by this it's not bloody worth it not worth it until i know that when i walk out that door other people have got the same mindset as i got and actually care about <laughs> other people and how this deadly virus is going to affect them so there's that one thing that I don't know if I'll actually ever do, but I'm going to try and bully myself into doing, is stepping out of my comfort zone completely and hosting a either an Instagram live stream or a Twitch live stream. Now, this is really big in the art community right at the moment. So I know a lot of artists who stream once a week or multiple times a week to kind of like get their name out, get an audience, get communicating on a live basis with people. Um, I totally see all the positives to it. The only problem is you can get drowned out so fast nowadays because there's that many people following it. Now, that doesn't really hold me back, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to sit here live and talk to you guys. I love YouTube because I can control what I put out into the world and then I can be there commenting and replying to likes and dislikes there and there. I don't know if I could do it live and I don't even know how it technically works. That's something I would have to take on. But if I could, that would be pretty cool, right? To have like a live communication with you people. 
so I'm going to kind of bully myself into doing at least one this year. I'm not saying like 50,000 or a regular streaming schedule, I just want to do one, start off small and then anything I do extra is just a bonus, right? You never know. <laughs> So I'm going to wrap it up there, this is kind of where my head's at, I want it to be 100% honest because it is what it is and um, hopefully in the new year, in this year, we'll um, embrace things a bit more and be kind to each other, so see you. <laughs>